Well, today thousands of people showed up for the race for the cure. The race benefits breast cancer research, and this year participation grew 40%. KX Y4 Sally Showman spent the morning along the race route. She joins us in the studio tonight. Sally, Tori, everything is pretty well cleaned up downtown right now. But earlier today, more than 7,000 people crammed the streets. Nearly every single one affected by breast cancer. This is so cool to see so many people come together for such a very important cause. A parade of pink took over downtown streets this morning. It's been a real emotional journey and this is just this is just amazing today. It was a victory walk for Tammy Boyd of Lincoln County. I'm a breast cancer survivor as of this year. Go, 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 go. Of the more than 7,000 racing, 351 wore Team Lisa shirts in honor of Lisa Gillenhammer, a 35-year-old teacher from Mead who lost her breast cancer battle three years ago. Every single time I run, I remember Lisa. Lisa never stopped running, even in the end. I'm going, oh, I don't know, you guys. Maybe you should go on ahead without me. And, and Lisa turned to me and she said, if a dying woman can do this, you sure as heck can. We really miss her. With every step of the race, Lisa's husband Joe remembers her smile, her charisma. She was incredible. And her fight. The number of people that are here today is just, you know, a testament to how, how many lives she had touched through her life. For those who have lost the fight, today's race was a promise to keep working toward a cure. Finish strong! And for those who have won, it was a celebration. This is amazing. This is the fourth year Spokane has had a race for the cure. Organizers say they raised $350,000, which far exceeded their expectations. Don't forget, Coeur d'Alene's race for the cure is set for September 27th. In the studio, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.